On the second day of the Bangalore IT base, the Indian Semiconductor Association or ISA arranged a panel discussion on solar PV industry in India, strategy for success. The panel speakers included Madhusudan Ache, President of Applied Materials of India, K. Srinivas Kumar, the CEO of Kota Kurja, Kameshwar Rao, Executive Director and Head of PVC India Energy, and P. Ponsekar, Reliance Industries General Manager. The speakers presented views on the feasibility of solar PV industry in India. The speakers also expressed their belief that a change in approach would enable the domestic solar PV industry to provide the cost-effective and sustainable solutions to every rooftop in India. Throwing some light on the affordability of solar power and accepting it as a better alternative to electricity, K. Srinivas said that we should think ahead of the expensive factor and adapt non-expensive models. So I feel that we are trying to ape the European or US models. You know, if, as I said, if it is a need-based requirement, first look at energy efficiency. See, they are paying approximately 6 to 7 rupees for kerosene. This is our statistics. What we know. It could be factored at 3 to 4 rupees. A lot of companies have come forward in putting up their proposals. I think it's uh, very important that the industry, the government and the research universities all come together and make sure that the technology that they're developing reaches out into the common man at a very affordable price. The solar PV industry is fast catching up in the energy sector and is expected to grow four folds by 2011. In 2007, 30% of the global 71 billion investment in new renewable energy sources is going into solar PV. People wait for somebody else to do it. We require more entrepreneurs, people who can come forward. We can suggest a model. It is very possible. We can involve local bank at all.